closed for about 30 days. Reporting live in Panama City Beach, I'm Molly Mitchell for News 13. And the sheriff's office is searching actively any vacant homes. Wake up. There is absolutely no napping, but I would advise you to wear a costume. I'm feeling a little bit out of place. A body was found inside this home. Currently, they are still inside trying to deliberate. The stop sign sneaks up on them, which is why the community is asking to see a blinking light. The school board has been training teachers to utilize this technology in every subject. However, even with the new technology, it will not be replacing textbooks. While it's important to get the bridge open, safety is of utmost concern. The burglaries happen in the daytime when you're at work. But in just a matter of five months, it'll look like this. No notes. No communication. And when students don't abide by these rules, it all started just a few hours ago. Amy Hoyt and Jerry Brown. <laughs> Good job, Molly. You didn't tell us you were putting that at the end. It was an emotional scene at the Bay County Courthouse. I just didn't know that this was going to happen um, in my lifetime. Mona Brannon and Simone Johnson, the first same-sex couple to apply for a coveted marriage license. It's been a long time coming. Ten years later. Marked by a stamp of approval, the journey to matrimony begins. So any time from Friday all the way through March the 10th, you have 60 days to get married. Bay County Courthouse opened three terminals to ensure the day goes smoothly. There you go. Congratulations. For those that apply on Tuesday, couples have a standard three-day wait before a ceremony can take place. We're family now, and, you know, if something happens to Simone, I can take care of it. I, I think that that has so much value and security, and that's what everybody's looking for. Not wanting to waste a moment more. Congratulations. Two ceremonies were performed right outside on the courthouse lawn. Love feels no burden, thinks nothing of trouble, attempts of its own strength, and perseveres through adversity. As for those out of state, like Rhonda and Kristen Apperson from Alabama, or couples who took online counseling courses, which is a married life can start now. Dedicated. Well, you feel entitled to all your rights as an American, so it, it feels better, you feel whole. Tuesday, January 6th, will forever be remembered by many as a day filled with hope and an abundance of love. I mean, we've been married for 10 years, now everybody knows it. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a fashion piece, but rather an investment the Washington County School Board is making in the health of their employees. A Fitbit, a small device making a big change in the county. I might have got maybe 2,000 steps a day. Now I'm getting over 10,000 steps a day. $65,000 from Blue Cross Blue Shield came to the district for wellness programs. I have spent 48000 on the Fitbits. We extended the program to include our retirees. When they heard about it, they wanted to jump on board. Jump on board with a district that's challenging itself in a new way. You'll get notifications on your iPhone of who's ahead of who and who's stepping up, who's sneaking up. and Creating a workplace atmosphere filled with movement and motivation. Very seldom we could come in here now and see everybody just sitting around. Even when we're just standing, um, we're talking and walking. And Employees see spare time as an opportunity to make a move. It's exactly four trips around our bus barn is a mile. So we get out there and you'll see bus drivers just a trotting along trying to get their steps in. So It has just changed my whole mindset about being healthier and, and staying fit. The goal is 10,000 steps a day, which is between five to six miles, and the Fitbit tracks it all. Today, I've already got 4,754 steps. Okay, so far I've walked 3,469 steps, and I've walked 1.36 miles. The district provides body assessments and tailored nutrition goals for each person. In three months, we'll do another assessment. And so hopefully we'll be able to see some significant changes. Already some have lost between 15 and 20 pounds, but the overall motivation is contagious throughout the county. It really has just helped me so much and I can't thank the, the school district enough because it was probably one of the best gifts I've ever gotten. Every employee has their Fitbit and their own personal story of success and health. In Washington County, Molly Mitchell, News 13. For locals living nearby, this isn't the first time they responded to the aid of a fatal accident. It's not a gunshot, it's not anything I can mistake for a gunshot. It is a unique, gut-wrenching sound. The impact of two vehicles colliding at State Road 77 and County Road 162. A sound heard Saturday night. Did not stop for stop sign and, and came into the to the right of way of the vehicle that was on Highway 77. My neighbor Daniel got, he was probably one of the first persons here and saw that the vehicles were on fire. 
a Ford F-150 traveling south on 77 when struck by a Chevrolet S-10. Four people died, leaving two in critical condition. He and a motorist that stopped um, pulled the victims out of the vehicles. Yeah, we went straight in and, and attempted to help the people as best that we physically could. Moments later, a number of agencies were on scene, battling the fire and emotions to get the scene taken care of. The highest level of care could be given to the, to the patients that were there as well as administering to the families uh, that were there uh, that had lost loved ones. But for residents, this scene is all too familiar. Living here, I've heard four or five. And you can see the short distance. The stop sign will creep up on you. Before getting to the stop sign at Tri-County Road in 77, you'll go through a double S curve at 35 miles per hour. And even longtime residents say sometimes the stop sign sneaks up on them. Which is why the community is asking to see a blinking light or something to let drivers know what's ahead. $10 electric bill a month for a flashing stop sign is, uh, you can't put a price tag on that in regards to saving human lives. It's going to continue to happen until the county takes measures and, and preventing this type of stuff. Breaks that impact not only family and friends of those lost, but a community and county of concerned citizens. It's a hard thing to digest and it's not easy. It's not. And I, and may God be with them. On August 23rd, Todd Mason, his wife Amy, and their two children's lives drastically changed. Todd was diagnosed with acute pancreatitis. And he has had quite a few complications. He's been in Dothan in the beginning, and then we, he's been up in Birmingham most of the time since then. While Mason faces a battle for his health, back home his crops are taken care of, and it's a sight to see. Seven peanut combines going. Uh, to what we call the nut carts running and uh, plenty of help. Help from farmers selflessly giving their time for a friend. Just a few text messages and everybody shows up ready to work. 350 acres of peanuts would typically take Mason and his team about two weeks to harvest. Now it'll be done in 48 hours. It reminds me of what small town life is all about. We was worried, you know, and everybody just pulled together and friends and family and this, we've come a long way with it. This is what we should do as stewards of the land, especially at harvest season, be willing to help someone. Five farmers and over a dozen people have come to selflessly offer help to the Mason family. It's overwhelming, but I'll say this, it's not surprising. They don't have to do this. They, they, they're taking time off of their job to come and do this for us and Todd. And if they were in this situation, he would be out here just like this. Todd faces surgery this Friday in Alabama and hopes to get control of the illness. Back in Campbellton, friends are hoping for the best. He's going to pull out of it and he'll be down here next year to enjoy this next year. We all want him better and back home and that's our hope and prayer. He's, he's been up there long enough. We miss him. Ready for him to come home.